The project of an underground ice wall around Fukushima nuclear power station has been approved. How is it going to work? They, they tried to construct a frozen wall by, by installing a freezer, a huge number of free freezers. Uh, and you dig a deep hole, like a 50 meter or 40 meter deep mm -hmm. to the underground. And uh, the peripheral length of this frozen wall is about 1.5 kilometer, surrounding four units, four units of uh, nuclear power uh, reactor units. Then uh, the width, the thickness of this wall is about one meter, 1.5 meter. And, and uh, this makes a whole uh, large uh, isolation wall, frozen wall, to prevent uh, the water, underground water, which is coming very, very slowly from the mountainside uh, toward the ocean. Uh, then this, flow, uh, this water, underground water, m does not, cannot go through this uh, frozen wall, making a uh, bypassing and bypassing this whole uh, nuclear power plant, which is a, a big uh, source of radioactivities. So it bypassing it and uh, flowing into the ocean, and uh, this water is totally free from the radioactivities. And what do you think about this project? Oh, it, it takes a lot of money. It, it, it takes a lot of uh, labor. I think there should be some uncertainties in establishing this uh, frozen wall, but uh, uh, according to the experience they have, I think uh, I, I hear that uh, uh, they are kind of optimistic about the results, and uh, I trust them. Cost problem uh, is a problem, but the cost and benefit, you will get more benefit than the cost you spend. This work should have been done much before uh, because they have not done that, so they have been struggling with uh, decontamination of uh, uh, contaminated water in the reactor buildings and uh, uh, they are concerned about the release of radioactive water into the ocean and, and they tried everything to prevent the release of radioactivity into but the ocean. But with this, uh, you don't have to worry about that much. Then uh, that means that uh, you should have done that much earlier. Mm -hmm. The only concern I have is uh, controlling water levels inside the reactor building and outside the reactor buildings. Outside the reactor building, you have uh, uh, ice wall surround, surrounding these four uh, radioactive sources, four units. Now, uh, if by chance, uh, if you have a higher water level in reactor buildings than the water level in outside, then there would be a chance that the water may leak out of uh, reactor building to the outside, which means that the radioactivity will be transported in outside. And we have to avoid this situation. Uh, then uh, uh, we, uh, we have to monitor every hour, every minute, you need to control the level by some devices. That is only concern, but I, I'm sure they, they, they have by engineering to do this.